I am a tourist in my own country. Or it's not my own country because maybe Wales is independent. I currently live in Nesta. It's just a random town that I'm passing through. It's called Lampeter. It's in the county of Ceredigion, where you can also find Aberystwyth. I expected to find loads of charity shops, but it looks like it's more easy to buy knives and guns. Well, you've already got your needs covered by this place called Bargain Box, as that's what charity shops are most meant to be. Problem is, it's a Monday, it's approaching five o'clock. Most charity shops have given up. This main road is the intersection you can get to Newcastle, Emlyn and Cardigan down there. Probably go down towards the Breck of Beacons down there. If you want to go back towards Aberystwyth, you could go towards Aberyron on the coast and get back on the Aberystwyth to Cardigan Road down there. So it's like many small towns in Wales in this way. Trees are a big thing in Wales and so you can find them getting delivered like this. Unlike my town centre, it does have a Barclays still, so that makes it a bigger town. And the town I live in also had its HSBC closed. But I will envy Lampeter because it manages to keep both of them. It does have slightly less estate agents than Little Sutton near where I live, which has about 12. And next to no other types of shops outside restaurants and chippies. And you've got to have your coffee. And luckily there doesn't seem to be much else other than this one and a couple of others. Couldn't even find where the Costa coffee was. And chips usually come with fish, a tradition still being proudly upheld in Lampeter. On not just one side of the high street, but both sides of the high street. But in Welsh, it's known as Strid Vower, not High Street. And if you don't know that, you're a tourist. This pub, like so many around the country, advertises the fact that you can watch Sky Sports and BT Sport in there, rather than spending on it at home. It also advertises on this one that you can watch the local team. I didn't know that Lampeter to Town featured so heavily on Sky Sports' football coverage. Obviously it competes with Manchester United and Liverpool for how many screenings it can get. Like so many people around that drive their car into Wales or have any other reason to come into it, you learn most Welsh from the road signs that you see. AU at the end of it means there's more than one. Toiler thou. Not knowing the language isn't all that makes it awkward. Taking a camera into a town like this gives you funny looks. But then it also does that in my hometown as well. And it's never stopped me. So now it's time to leave this town in Wales and go to another town in Wales where I'm staying. And make a few more observations before setting off from the car park that you always have to pay for. Unlike many towns in the northwest of England, people paint their, their houses different colours, which makes it more interesting. But because it's so embedded in the rat race over where I live, people are too depressed to paint their houses any other colour other than the colour the estate agent gave them. There's another Welsh language lesson there, Strith Newith. They've got um, a word that is exactly twice as long as English for the word new, Newith compared to new there. And the occupants of this house must be very happy as they painted it in a bright pinkish purple colour. This is something that Lampeter has in common with other towns that are very touristy such as in Cornwall for example where you'll find a lot of this colouring in St Ives. Aberystwyth also does it a lot. If you pay, you must display. Here comes the part of town that none of us really like to have to visit, the pay car park. And this, for a provincial small town, is more advanced than you would think. Well, it is aggravating having to find the coins all the time. There is an alternative if you can afford it, using your bank card. It's one of the only pay car parks I've ever seen that actually offers the ability to do this. But it does come at a bit of a premium. Just an hour costs £1.40, whereas in many other towns, something like that might only be 70p or 50p or something. But, that is because you're paying for positive parking, so it must be worth it. Parkio positive. The F, if you don't know Welsh, is always a V. Positive. Two Fs, and that's an F. That's why the Welsh for the town of Flint, which isn't quite as touristy as this one, is FF Lint. Flint. 
So now it's time to say goodbye to Lampeter. I've been here for less than an hour and I know just about as much as I did before I went in. Not much. It's just a town with some shops and it's located in provincial mid Wales in Ceredigion. And I've now seen it for the first time in my life. I might not see it again for another 20 years or something. And so this visit has been all worth it.